Ladies and gentlemen, September 2023 is a big month for us here at Stand Up Cat C. On the 14th of September, catch us at Mets with the Unfiltered Five. All of the links will be in the description below. On the 21st, catch us with Comedy at Kampai featuring Son from the USA. On the 22nd, we have Wacky Weinstone featuring Shalyn Hobblesberger, ex-beauty queen turned massive, massive female jester. And right at the end of the month, right back here as normal, the fast and the funniest on the Friday the 29th. See you all there. Tickets in the link below. It has been surfaced a video of, I suppose you could say, a classic bimbo, um, Miss Carolina. We're going to have a quick reaction to this. Roll the tape. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some <laughs> people out there in our nation actually, don't have Actually, that she's that correct, you know, it's like, I mean, that's the what, quite a good answer. Like, I cannot Africa locate <laughs> U.S. on the map <laughs> because I don't have a map. Such as, I mean, that's not wrong, right? No, no, no. I think she's very smart. Our education over here in no, the U.S. No, should I think help she's very the U.S. or should help because South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian no, no, no. countries. Let her finish first. So we will yeah. be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much, South Carolina. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response. Were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought? Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, so the thing is, but is it, what, what, what this guy says afterwards is 100% on point. No, 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 he's not. You see, bro, the, the question is this. Why does 20% of the US population cannot read maps? Okay, this is a very stupid question because twenty percent of any population. No, they never say they cannot read maps. They just say that why they can't find the US. Why can't you find the U locate US yeah, on the map? So twenty percent of Singaporeans yeah. may not even be able to identify Singapore in the map. Twenty percent of any population are stupid people. No, they, they can find the region. They know roughly where it yeah, is. Yeah. To look at the size of the United States, right? Look at the size of Singapore. If you can't find Singapore, I can forgive that. But you know, big America. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's almost like let's say if you ask no, someone to say that, can you locate the state of California on the on the map? Some of them might not know exactly where. You know, okay. so, so 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 that the, doesn't mean they don't have to read the map. I think it's right. There are also people going around asking questions. <laughs> you know this. You know this. For the US, they always only show the ones that cannot answer. They don't show the people who can answer. I know South Africa is over here somewhere. No, it's, no, it's down here. Yeah, yeah it's south. Oops. Can you name any country on this map? Yeah. Africa? That's a continent. Oh, God. <laughs> Can you name any countries in Africa? God, no. Who knows stuff like that? Can you name any country on this map? Yes. Um, Africa. That's a continent. Oh, country. Um... It's actually a type <laughs> 1 error. <laughs> yeah. In, in statistics, it's a type 1 error. So we, when you say 20% of the people cannot identify the US in a map, how accurate is this statement in the first place? How was the... No, if you find... They found a lot of people that were going to college in America. Okay. If you find one college... If a person is studying for a diploma okay. or a degree and they cannot find America on a map and they're an American, they should be kicked out of college. No, no there shouldn't be one. Forget percentages. Any American that's in college that cannot find America on a map should be beaten. <laughs> no, you can't say that because what they're doing like... Uh... Bible studies. Their, yeah. their degree is in Bible studies. Okay, if they can't find Jerusalem on a map, they should be beaten. Stand Up Cat C and The Fast and the Funniest is a monthly open mic blowout that's been happening since 2018. Taking place on the last Friday of each month, a cadre of hilariously cool comics take to the stage at the studios of the Association of Comic Artists Singapore in Goodman Arts Centre. So get your tickets at the link below 
and don't miss the next episode of Stand Up Cat Sees Fast and the Funniest. Stand Up Cat Sees Fast and the Funniest. Laugh much, you will. <laughs> Why? You do Bible studies and don't know where it happened? Uh, nah, this is one time where the rhymes are going to fail. I, I... I, I just got something against the premise of a beauty contest, right? Uh -huh. That pretends that it's not a beauty contest. If it's a beauty contest, it's yep. a beauty pageant, just be beautiful. Correct. Yes. Why should she not, right? Uh, why should you need to like no, challenge no, no, the yeah, that's no, no, I agree with that. Now you're saying that she's very stupid, right? Mm. No, we but, don't know. We don't need to know whether she's stupid or intelligent. Yeah, no, no, but I'm saying that she's not stupid. Yeah, because yeah, the answer I, she gave mm -hmm. actually makes fun of the questioner. The questioner is not asking a proper question. And, 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 no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> with no, no. Why would you ask a beauty pageant? Yes. Why can 20% of the population, cannot, yeah, population can... cannot identify in the US? Yeah. How yeah, is yeah. it the problem of a beauty contestant to solve? No, but they brought, but they but they see the feminists brought that in. Because they're not beautiful. The one way you can catch up perhaps a beautiful woman is to challenge their intellect. Correct, right. So so that's how they managed so to destroy she the beauty shows, she shows her intellect. <laughs> By giving an answer that makes the questioner feel stupid. <laughs> and, 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 right? and do you have a stupid answer? Like, for example, right, you have a question now. Huh? Yeah. I have a question now. Huh? I'm just a stupid, stupid question. I'll give you a stupid Wh answer. Why do you look so ugly? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm ugly because I want to give a chance to the both of you <laughs> to do good one in your life. Okay. Yeah. That is a classic Thanks. lyric Thanks. from an old reggae song. Is it? The guy said, if I didn't look so ugly, I wouldn't give you a chance to get promotion in your tune. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Prince Jasper said that. But if I didn't ugly, you wouldn't have the opportunity to call my name in your tune to get promotion. But I know act like y'all. But, but, but by the so way, this girl, she answered a completely different answer for a different question. Eh? <laughs> to let that... Christian and know that Christian is a piece of shit. Why is such a stupid question? Because she's not running for politics. She's not running to become the next uh, president of the United yeah, States. Precisely, I say, if you are being Unfortunately, contest, the funny irony yeah. thing, right? They don't ask these questions to the president. The president should be the one in the US. Should be the one interested, keeps right? falling down, falling down. Yeah. Who's that? What's his name? Joe, Joe, Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. So he just keeps falling down, falling down. No matter what their cost, 2, 10, 12, 15, whoop, stepping on them. There's a, it's black. Anyway. And no one asked him this kind of questions. <laughs> but yeah, they asked him the question for a beauty pageant contestant. What? what, what he, he probably get it wrong as well because the other day he was talking about the war in uh, where's the place at the moment? Ukraine. <laughs> Ukraine. He was talking about Ukraine and called it. He got, what's the last country? Where's the last place? Not Afghanistan. Iraq. He, Iraq, oh. Iraq or Libya. He said. Okay. Yeah. He he totally forgot which country he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they don't ask this kind of questions to the president who's supposed to solve this problem. The person they asking this question is to the is like me asking my my asking a fat person About what to eat <laughs> to be healthy. Yes, to be healthy. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. You know, anyway, right? anyway, you realize all these uh, beauty pageants, right? Huh? Like Miss Universe, right? Huh? Only Earth takes part, you know, but they call it Miss Universe. <laughs> No, you, you don't have contestants from uh, Mars or okay, okay, bro, bro. I was, this I must talk or, about, bro. other planets. Or Some of the women the there <laughs> in beauty pageants, they look very alien. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a from, feeling. From where? From where? where? Where do you think is the most alien looking contestant? Um, from Miss Universe? Some of them, lah, okay. I don't want to say any names. I don't want to. Okay. Know. Also, you're scared, lah. So you're scared the name. And... <laughs> so you're trying to be politically correct, <laughs> is it? I'm politically correct. But uh, some of them look alien. Okay. Yeah. Why is it that there's no fat girls in the Miss Universe pageant? Oh, yeah. No, but they're trying that. No, they're doing that now, right? Fat girls inside the Miss Universe pageant? Well, not that competition, but there are other competitions that are with a body positive Miss Universes that exist. They're not that, the mainstream Miss Universe. No, why are there no fat girls taking part in the normal Miss Universe? They, they wanted to, but the, the organizers say cannot. 
see this is against the thing right yeah, yeah. so the the questionnaire is not asking if the questionnaire wants the pageant participants <laughs> to answer questions meant for the president then you make sure you have some fat girls in oh you see but you see what you just said is very sexist you're yeah. implying that no beautiful woman could possibly know geography i mean it might be true the question <laughs> they didn't answer the question <laughs> Pick up USA in the map. But, but I think they're asking her in, 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 why they're asking her. They're asking her. No, in a way, why, I, I agree with you, lah. I mean, if you want to ask an intelligent question, I mean, it's not even yeah. stupid question. They're asking her why twenty percent of America. Yeah, yeah, why? Why the fuck is there a problem? Yeah, why, why is it important for her to yeah, answer this? Why would she answer that? You're asking her a question that's so stupid because she is not responsible for it. I think so, Julie. Could you run it again? What, what, what was the actual question? Yeah, why, why does she think that only 20%? Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the US on a world map. Uh, why do you think this is? Wait, is it, you, you know what? Why do you think so? The answer to the question is very simple. Uh, because 20% of any population is stupid. <laughs> therefore, they couldn't pick up with it. That's, that's the answer. Actually, you know, what answer could she possibly give that would be acceptable? If she tells the truth, she's going to get flamed. Yeah, so she gives an uh, answer to another question. No, I, I think they were looking for an intelligent answer that says, that, oh, maybe because we need to increase the educational level of yes, uh, and, 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 the the, and, and the world view money. of our... Because you know, in, in, uh, in the US, there are around 40% of the US who, has never, who don't have a passport because they have never traveled out of the country before. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you give such... They were expecting yeah, maybe such an intelligent answer. Right. But again, I feel that this question no, is stupid. No, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. You, you go to Singapore... You ask Singaporeans, 20% will answer shit answers to even the basic questions. Not this kind of tough questions, eh? like I'm asking you. Why are 11% of Singaporeans Indians? <laughs> Can you answer that question? Is that the question in the first place? Do you understand? No, what stupid the question is? I know what. Yeah, I mean, I can answer that. Quarters. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Unfiltered Podcast. Remember to hit that notification bell, subscribe, and most importantly, like, as that really helps our channel to grow. We'll see you again real soon.